everybody's favorite problem to have. I'm starting to run out of room to store equipment around the house. <laughs> I've got my three mowers. This is just family junk walking aisle and then the vent track there. And then I kind of dump stuff here in between cleaning the garage up, which happens, you know, once every couple of months. I'm going to pull everything out and see if I can fit a couple more of the Ventrac attachments behind the Ventrac. I need to come up with room for the 95 inch mower that I'm gonna be using for a while. Then I've got a landscape rake that I bought. And then a leaf plow that Ventrac is letting me use. I don't think I've talked about this trailer yet. So this is an 18 foot deck over equipment trailer. So deck over means that there's no wheel fenders, that the deck goes over the wheels, as you can see there. Those are two 7,000 pound axles. So this is a 14,000 GVWR or gross vehicle weight rating. 14,000 minus the weight of the trailer at 30 something hundred leaves me around 10,500 pounds, something like that. This truck has a max tow rating conventional Conventional meaning you hook it to a bumper, not a fifth wheel. Uh, but this has a max conventional tow rating of 14,500. So this trailer is basically the biggest trailer I'll ever need. If it can fit on here and it's in the weight restrictions, I can tow with it. I've had some people ask if now do I need a CDL license with this. I don't. For Florida, it looks like the magic number is 26,001 pounds. If I'm under a GVWR or a gross vehicle weight rating of 26,001 pounds combined, then I don't need a CDL and I'm okay with just my regular Class E driver's license. Here's my little sticker from General Motors, GVWR 10,500. So Stryker Trailers out of Piedmont, Alabama made this trailer for me and that GVWR is 14,000. Here's their sticker for cargo, 10,300. I think I said 10,500. And so you may say, Brad, why do you need a trailer that big? You're just hauling mowers and you're right. For what I run currently, I don't need a trailer that is this big. But what I wanted was a trailer that would be the biggest trailer I would ever need. I wanted to get it for the rest of my life, basically. And I think I found that in this Striker trailer. Now, the reason I needed this immediately was for this 95 inch mower. So this deck over trailer is 102 inches wide. And this 95 inch cut width mower deck is pretty close on both sides. I couldn't get delivery of this mower without this deck over trailer. My landscaping trailer weight wise handles the vent track and an attachment, but it's just not wide enough for a mower this big. If I ever get into other types of construction equipment, which I have no idea if I will at this point in time, I would love to, to show you guys new machines, new equipment working, but this trailer is better suited for that. The reason I went with Stryker Trailers, I really like their story. A new guy bought the company about a year and a half ago, and they didn't have a great reputation before that. From what I hear, the previous owner kind of just cared about making money and not necessarily doing things right by the customer. The reputation was so-so. The new guy takes over for a year and a half. He's been working to kind of turn things around. What I really like is that if you go Google search them, all of the negative reviews that they've received, the new owner has went and replied to it and was like, yep, you're right. We were doing things wrong. I'm very sorry about that. Come by, we'll make it right. We want to do better. And I respect that. I, I really like when somebody will take a negative review and for them to say, yes, you were right. We're trying to do better. That made me really want to do business with these folks. And this is all custom. They basically said, you tell us whatever you want and we'll get it done. And they did these special heavy duty flip knee ramps. So these ramps are two feet wide. I asked them to put mesh on so I can still drive zero turn mowers up. And they also built them so they could slide almost the whole length of the thing. So I could get those narrow enough that my 36 inch stand on mower should be able to drive up them. And there wouldn't be any issue there. I've got all LED lights along the side of it. Got markers and red lights and brake lights and running lights there set of D-rings on each side there. Of course, you've got all your strap 
tie down locations here with your C channel and your rub rail. We've got another set of D-rings up front here. We've got some recessed D-rings. This was another thing I asked them to do custom. They were like, yep, we can do that. I wanted some extra deck space. So worst case scenario, if I ever had to drive, like let's say this mower deck was attached to a Ventrac. If I had to drive forward and use this space, I can put weight on here. I've got these D-rings if I need to strap down into it. And then this also is some good dunnage storage. So you've got lots of storage in here for any of your straps. Those are all my wheel locks. So this was a really neat thing for them to add that makes this space a lot more versatile. And I can just dump all my straps and stuff in there now. They've got their own home. And then you've got a little lock and tab here for security. Instead of having to bring blocks with you, you can just, once you get it to the height you want, if you pull this, this foot will slide down. So then I could start cranking it down from there and I've got a lot less travel distance. And then whenever I'm done with it, you just pull it back and it'll spring load up. Everything's still freshly painted, so there's still a lot of sticking that's going on with this moving thing, but that'll be fine over time. Because this is so wide and DOT says nothing's longer or wider than 102 inches, there's not really room here for a spare carrier mount. And if you mount it, on the side of this, you're more likely to jackknife if you've got a foot of space taken up with a mount and a tire uh, that'll hit your bumper when you're doing tight turns. So they ended up just putting the spare tire mount under, which makes a lot of sense. You can see it there. So that's where my spare tire lives. Here's a shot of the underside. And like I said, I think this is gonna be the last equipment trailer that I will ever need. I can't imagine outgrowing this. This might be famous last words, but I don't think I'm ever gonna get a bigger truck than this, which means I won't ever need a bigger trailer than this. So I'm pretty happy with, uh, with what we've worked out here. And of course, you'll be seeing it on all the Ventrac projects, but for now, like I said, I've gotta get this stuff off and somewhere in there, I don't know where.
Don't tell my wife. An inch and a half to spare. <laughs> I was in another guy's uh, property doing some work and I think he must have hung on a root and went backwards and bent the metal in. I don't think it's affected anything, but uh, I really don't know. Another casualty of the Ventrac road tour. Now I did forget my lift, but I think it might fit right there. I say this every time I get a new piece of equipment, but I really have no more room. I need to clean all this stuff up, but I just don't have the uh, time or energy right now. Excited to have some new equipment for the Ventrac. This trailer worked out really good for loading and unloading. I like what I did here. I just got some four by fours and you know cut a, a seven inch ramp. I think I might build something a little bit bigger and maybe wider and taller too so that whenever I go somewhere, I'll just have one big constructed ramp that'll add some uh, height to this, make the incline less steep. I did not try loading or unloading anything without those. I wouldn't want to. I felt like I was at the limit, right? This uh, dovetail is not very steep. You, you can't really see the angles on the camera, but uh, it's not that steep at all, which is good for storage because I can use it as, you know, storage for an attachment if I need to or something like that. But that's just a consequence of uh, having a trailer this short. They didn't want to do a real steep dovetail and lose me that, that storage because uh, most people who get a trailer this heavy, this heavy duty, are not going to get a short 18 foot version. So they kind of worked with me a little bit to make the best of what I was asking for. But I'll definitely go ahead and, and construct something a little more permanent, probably out of four by fours or maybe uh, six by sixes, but that'll be a project for another day. So if you've got any questions about any of the Ventrac equipment you saw or, or the trailer or anything like that, feel free to leave them down in the comments. Uh, I'll try and put some information in the description too, but one way or another, I'll get your question answered. Thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it.